for Fight Day. I'm Maggie Kroll standing alongside Patrick Cote, who will be facing Kong Lee this Saturday at UFC 148. Now let's talk about, although you haven't been in the UFC for a couple years now, you're still very much involved with the company. Talk about the commentating that you do in Canada and how long you've been doing that for. Uh, I'm doing there. I'm doing that for uh, you know for the UFC uh, for the last four years. But you know I'm, I'm we're doing every show since only a year and a half. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing the commentator uh, in French, uh, you know, all the time. So I can see the, the evolution of the UFC even if I wasn't uh, in the UFC as a fighter. Now, talk about getting the call from the UFC. You haven't fought in a couple of years. Your last loss in the UFC was to, to, to Tom Lawler. What was it like to get the call? And since that last fight, what have you learned as a fighter? I learned a lot. You know, I learned that when you are in the UFC, you want to stay. Because my last fight, I went in the middle of nowhere in the Amazon forest in Brazil, very deep in Brazil. And, uh, you know, I won the first round. That was pretty good. But, you know what, UFC is the real deal. And, uh, you know, now I'm doing what I should maybe do three or four years ago in my about training, about lifestyle of, uh, of my training. Took less, took less time between fights. So always in good shape. Uh, so no more big injuries, so it's, it's all good and uh, you know, I did my homework, you know, took care of my weakness and I'm ready to go now. What was your weakness? I was wrestling, you know, I knew it, everybody knows it and <laughs> you know, that wasn't a secret for anybody. So I, I, I did what I had to do. Uh, I have a new wrestling coach, I wrestled with the national team for the last 18 months, four times a week. So I did, I, I did what I had to do to, uh, to take care of that. Now, do you think that going into this fight with Kung Lee, you have something to prove not only to your fans, but also to the UFC executives? Uh, I don't think I have something to prove because everybody knows my style. The only thing I want to do is to raise the last fight I did, I did in the UFC, in the, uh, in the UFC 121, in the UFC head uh, management and my fans and all this thing. That was a pretty bad performance. I took the blame. And uh, you know what, uh, after that, I, you know, I received my, my paper of, of the UFC. I, I wasn't surprised, I wasn't happy, but I wasn't surprised. But like I said, I took care of my weakness and uh, here I am, I'm back. So mentally, you're prepared. You had four fights outside of the UFC and, and coming in, how are you feeling overall? I feel pretty good. You know, I'm on the winning streak. I got to come back in the UFC by the big door, you know, the, by the front door, the, on the, probably the biggest fight card of the year, main card right away against a former Strife Force champion, you know, I can't ask for more. What is your uh, prediction for the main event, actually? A main event, uh, I'm, I'm taking Silva this time by the end of the third round because I think the first round, the first time he got surprised about the aggressiveness and the pace that Charles is giving, gave him. But uh, I just hope we're going to have a good fight, you know, for the company, for the, for the fans. Everybody's waiting for this rematch for a long time. There's a lot of uh, expectation about this fight, so I'm just hoping they're going to have a hell of a fight. Well, thank you so much, and best of luck thank to you. you. Thank you. Keep checking heavy.com for, for more UFC 148 coverage.